Hello students, this is Mr. Collier again and we're problem solving using trigonometry. So here we have a word problem involving an isosceles triangle. Whenever I have a problem involving geometry, I like to draw the picture. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have an isosceles triangle that is 6, 6, 10. So that's 6, 6, and 10. And right away you can see there are no right angles here. So whenever you have that situation, sometimes you've got to look for where we can draw in a right angle or a uh, right triangle. So here you can drop down an altitude of the triangle, and that makes a right angle, and it splits these, splits this base into two 5-centimeter segments here. Okay, this is six centimeters, six centimeters, this is five centimeters. And we're looking for the angles of the isosceles triangle. Okay, and this angle is theta. This angle is equal to that angle because they're opposite the equal sides. So we need to find theta here, and we have a right triangle, and we have two side lengths, so we should be able to do it. Let me go ahead and label these sides with reference to theta. This side here is the adjacent. This side over here is opposite the right angle, so it's the hypotenuse. Okay, so we have adjacent and hypotenuse. So if you look at your Soka Toa mnemonic, Soka Toa, which one uses adjacent and hypotenuse? A and H. That would be Ka, so that's cosine. Cosine of theta equals always adjacent divided by hypotenuse. In this case, adjacent is 5. Hypotenuse is 6. So cosine theta equals 5 out of 6. In order to find theta here, you need to do the opposite of cosine, which is inverse cosine. So we're going to do inverse. What's happening here? Inverse cosine of 5 out of 6. Okay, we're going to need our calculator for that. So, well, I've already done it on the calculator here. We have 33.56. Let's round it up to 33.56 to make it nice and accurate. Okay, so that's about 33.56. Okay, so that's uh, one of the angles. And another angle is 30, 33.56. So what's left is to just find the measure of this angle over here. Okay, and of course in a triangle, or in any triangle, the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. So we need to do 180 degrees and take away these two angles. Subtract 2 times 33.56 because we're subtracting the measures of those two angles. So that equals, uh, let's go ahead and do that here on the calculator. Let's do 180. Take away 2 times, let's do the 2 times the answer because that answer is still on our calculator. And we have 112 point, let's round it off to 112.89 since we used two decimal digits before. 112.89 degrees. So the answer, the three angles of the isosceles triangle are 33.56 degrees. 33.56 degrees and 112.89 degrees. Okay, so that's your answer right there.